If you really wanted that LG Optimus G, but you didn't want to switch to AT&T or Sprint in the US, well Verizon's got you covered with a pretty similar device. How's it going guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com and this is the LG Spectrum 2. It's the follow-up to the LG Spectrum, which has obviously been out for quite a while, but they boosted the specs on this. And you know what? It's not quite to the same par as the LG Optimus G, but still, it's packing some pretty cool things like a dual-core Snapdragon S4 CPU, a 4.7-inch display, an 8-megapixel camera, 4G LTE, and Android 4.0. Is this the device to get this holiday season? Maybe you should go with the Samsung Galaxy S3 or the Note 2 or the Motorola Droid Razor Max HD. We'll find out at least a little bit of that in the unboxing. But first, some love to Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like this for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, which we turn around and give to you for free on Phone Dog at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you go into Best Buy Mobile to get your Spectrum 2, you'll walk out working. They'll get your email, your web, your contacts, all your information set up and in the phone. So when you walk out the door, you're good to go. Special thanks to Verizon as well for giving us a review unit. Let's take a look. Unboxing Spectrum 2. Let's go see if it lives up to the hype. Sprint and AT&T users, you know what? You got the LG Optimus G, but if you're on Verizon, you're really just craving an LG device, you're kind of out of luck until right now. I mean, you got the intuition, but I'm saying in terms of specs that are kind of similar to the Optimus G, you were out of luck until right now. This is the LG Spectrum 2. Now, it's finally coming out. It's available from Verizon Wireless, made by LG, and out of the gate you get the Spectrum, obviously, LG tag stickers, lithium-ion battery, wireless charging battery cover. So wireless charging is like this big thing right now in mobile, and it's been around for a while. Obviously, if you remember from the pre, you know what, it kind of took off. You could say that Palm kind of pioneered that, and it's finally taking off this holiday season. We're seeing the Lumia 920, the Lumia 810, this, and a host of other devices pick up wireless charging, and not just pick it up, but actually market it as a feature that you probably want this holiday season. Quick reference guide, yada yada, all of that stuff. And uh, it may actually say on the back, yada yada, all of that stuff. I don't know if it does or not. But uh, specs-wise, you're looking at a 1.5 gigahertz dual-core Snapdragon S4 CPU. So not quite the quad-core powerhouse that we saw in the LG Optimus G, but still a reasonably fast device for somebody that, you know what, they don't want the Galaxy S3, they don't want a Motorola device, they don't want the Droid DNA, they're just set on LG and they really like the Optimus G. Maybe that's you, maybe that's somebody in your family. This might be a good option. Like I said, that dual-core Snapdragon S4 CPU, it's got a gig of RAM, 2,150 milliamp hour battery, which is removable underneath this battery cover. It's got a uh, micro SIM card slot in the back as well, eight megapixel camera with 1080p HD video recording, and you can see design cues kind of similar to uh, LG's current products, at least when it comes to uh, current this year, I should say, in terms of the, the Optimus 4X HD. Reminds me a lot of the 4X HD, actually. And then it comes with a, uh, here we go, your phone comes with a wireless charging battery cover. The back cover is compatible with the charging pad, so you can purchase that pad at a Verizon wireless retail store. You know, I mean, Verizon, and this isn't just Verizon, all the manufacturers and carriers, but you know what? They want your accessory dollars. I've got to include that stuff in the box, my friends. Start here, Comienci aquí, important consumer information, uh, consumer information about radio frequency emissions, global support, product safety, yes, it does have global support out of the box so you can take advantage of this device in multiple countries around the world. So you can use your LG device. Now, LG comes with a, or LG ships rather, an AC adapter module here. Standard look and feel, nothing really new or exciting there. And of course, a USB cable. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and power this up so we can kill two birds with one stone. I don't wanna kill birds, that's mean, but power it up, I didn't press and hold the power button long enough. Get that vibration, there we go. And of course, a USB cable as well. And then you get an NFC tag. Uh, out of the box, so you can take advantage of some of the NFC capabilities. Play around with that on the LG Spectrum 2. So I'm gonna throw that stuff back in the box and let this start up. This is not a droid device, so you're not gonna get the droid stuff out of the gate. With this, pack up the box. I'm trying to stay more organized this time around on my desk. But you can see the LG look user interface, look and feel, very similar to the Optimus 4X HD, very similar to the Optimus G on both AT&T and on Sprint. And you can see that uh, Icons are very similar as well. So starting up right now, like I said, just to go over some more specs with the 4.7 inch True HD display, 720p uh, over here. So it doesn't quite compare to the 1080p display on the Droid DNA, but still pretty nice all around. You got your volume rocker over here. You get a bunch of stickers on this device too. That I can either pull off in this video while I'm talking and be that annoying reviewer guy. You know what, I am gonna be that annoying reviewer guy. Volume rocker over here, micro USB charging port. Uh, no, that's entirely too much work, just kidding. My USB charging port over here, nothing on this side, down at the bottom, nothing there but a sticker. Up top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, power button as well, and then a front-facing camera. 
obviously on the front. And then out of the gate, you do get some Verizon applications. You get quite a bit out of the gate here, actually. Amazon, Amazon Kindle, MP3, Amex Serve, Vcast apps. You get guided tours, NFC tag information, Let's Golf 3, NFL Mobile, My Verizon Mobile, Mobile Hotspot, Google Play integration, Real Racing 2. Let's see here, VZ Navigator, Verizon Video, Voicemail, Visual Voicemail is $2.99 per month from Verizon, as you can see right here when it starts up. 4G LTE capabilities on this device as well, but despite having a 4.7 inch display, it's a lot like the Note 2, just in terms of the fact that it's kind of a, a thinner and taller device, so it's easier to hold in the hand, so even though it has a 4.7 inch display, you don't feel like you're holding a brick in your hand. It's something that's easier to hold and probably hold up to the ear as a result. So seven home screens, actually get five out of the gate. I added the other two, the total of seven. You can see, despite not having a quad-core processor, it is a fast device. LG still has a little bit of work to do with their user interface, that said. I find it to be pretty impressive considering where they came from uh, some time ago with the initial LG Android devices that hit the market. So obviously none of this stuff is uninstallable. As you can see, all the Verizon stuff is here and here to stay. Downloads and of course your widgets over here as well. So if you're familiar with the Optimus G, you're familiar with the Optimus 4X HD, you've seen this user interface. There's nothing really amazingly new here, but you do get some widgets out of the gate. As you can see quite a few clocks. You may tell in time forever with those clocks and uh, music player, just the typical stuff, weather, and more favorite contacts. This is actually a pretty useful application. Let's say, you know what, I have no friends. All of Verizon's quick dials are my favorite contacts. I can do that and have that widget right there. And then of course I have my Yahoo weather widget right here. It's 53 and cloudy today. It's kind of a depressing day uh, at the moment, but you've got that. And of course you have your messaging interface here. We'll take a look at LG's keyboard. This is running Android 4.0 with LG's user interface. Almost lunchtime. Quick Brown Fox is happy that it is almost lunchtime. And of course, portrait landscape transition, nice and fast. So again, despite not having a quad-core processor, I find this device to be nice and fast. It's a far, far better device than the original LG Spectrum. Huge improvements on the speed front, it seems. Then of course, down here, this is interesting. LG has decided to include, kind of like the intuition, a back button, a home button, recent applications, and of course, an actual uh, physical menu button as well. All those buttons are capacitive, but it is a little bit odd on an Android 4.0 device to see a menu button. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of this device, 4G LTE. It's actually a pretty decent device all around. Let's go over here to PhoneDog.com. I had my doubts with this device after working with the original Spectrum, but actually, despite having a dual-core processor, pretty impressive on the speed front. LG's user interface, not quite as fleshed out as perhaps HTC's or Samsung's or Motorola's kind of near-stock interface, but still something I think a lot of people will like. And of course, the added value of the wireless charging and then of course, NFC, I think will make people appreciate this. It's still reasonably fast. We'll take a look at battery life and more in the full review. Keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage of the LG Spectrum 2. Follow me on Twitter at phone dog underscore Aaron. Let me know what you think of this device. Do you like it? I'd love to hear from you. And uh, actually, I'm, whoops, I'm typing in my personal account, but yeah, that's okay, whatever. I'm typing in my personal Twitter account. But anyway, phone dog underscore Aaron uh, on Twitter. This is my personal Aaron C. Baker account, but uh, didn't mean to do that. But uh, on Facebook as well, facebook.com slash phone dog AB. And then of course, be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone dog. Enter our greatest tech giveaway ever to sponsored by Negri Electronics. You can win an awesome smartphone. Thanks for watching. Much more coverage to come on this device in the full review. We'll see you next time.